Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Hanging In Here with Heavy, Biasio Giordano's Hanging With Heavy welding video series. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about welder qualification versus welder certification. Let's take a look here. If you have never been qualified as a welder, you're going to go to a welding testing lab or your employer is going to set up a plate in the shop and you're going to take a test. That test, if you're going to do shielded metal arc welding, is going to result in two plates with a, with a 22 and a half degree bevel. There's going to be a backing strip and a gap between the two plates that you're going to fill up with the, the specified electrode, in this case E7018. Take a look here. Let's zoom in on this and take a look. If you see here, you'll notice that we do have a backing strip. In this backing strip, there is a 3 8 or a quarter inch gap. Your choice. When you turn it over, you're going to be putting weld deposit inside that groove that we're going to take and cut a strip out of. After we cut that strip, we're going to take it, we're going to bend it into this machine here into a U-shape. This is called a destructive bend test. After you take the test, I'm going to take, I'm going to look at it to see if there's any welding discontinuities. Now, discontinuities are allowed under AWS D1.1 welder qualification in your code book. You can find that under welder and tack operator. If, for some reason, it fails catastrophically, then we know that this is a catastrophic failure and obviously fails the test. Now, let's talk about certification. If you go to take a welder certification test, like let's put it this way, you go to work at a nuclear power plant, they're going to give you a welding certification test that is super specific. It's going to give you a very specific thickness, it's going to give you a very specific location, it's going to give you a very specific process and filler metal. When you go to work on there, you're only going to be allowed to work on that very specific metal using that very specific process. Welder qualification, on the other hand, is more process specific. You're a shielded metal arc welder with 7018 electrode, and your, and your employer says that that's good enough for him. Your employer's bosses, on the other hand, may say, if they come onto this job, we want them to be certified, and we are going to certify them to our standards. The man will have to take another certification test. Certification tests are only good for the job, whereas welder qualifications are good in a general type area. I hope you learned a little something from this video, and until the next time, I want you to keep hanging with Hebe. It is heavy, at Hebe, you know, because it's French. I want you to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, and tune in for my next video, which is going to be on personal protection equipment. So you go out in the shop, you can go to work the next day. All right, until the next time, I'll see you, and I'll keep the light on for you. Thank you.